Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not saying it. I'm not gonna say it. Fifty one point six degrees. All right, Dolan, you win. Fine, Dolan. Just keep being right and see how many friends you end up with, Dolan. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Dar Sloan, your official partner, content creator for Expansive Worlds. We are out here fishing for none other than the diamond bullhead catfish like you just saw right there. This is not where I caught it at. I caught it in a different spot, but this spot I have caught more bullheads than any other spot. So I like to, I watched Twerok who was standing right beside me catch 11 diamond catfish here. I, I saw Dolan catch seven or eight here and a lot of my friends just have come up right beside me right here and caught them and uh so this i've seen more diamond bullhead caught here more than any spot this is the spot i'm talking about this little island here where spillfin is a lot of times right through here and i've caught several diamond chub here as well right now i'm fishing with leeches but now i ended up catching my diamond off from the five liver after uh, doe twisted my arm about it but technically it's night time it's 5 28. um so we don't have much left that that is one thing i cannot wait uh, to be able to choose since we have specific fish uh what type of map we're fishing on whether it be daytime or nighttime now at the moment i'm using a number six leech and that is silver. Uh, you have to be careful what you use here. There are some monster fish in here. We're getting a bite right here. Uh, but on leech, you could catch chub. You could catch brown trout. This might be a bullhead. Who knows? Let's see what we've got here. This one is a chub. You can see there on the leeches. Now. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to throw a five hook on. That is a gold only. Before we go any further, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. We are gaining traction over here on YouTube, and we are getting dangerously close to passing our Twitch channel up, guys. I never thought I'd see the day. I started out on Twitch. I've been on Twitch for almost four years now. We're approaching that time, and... There's an Atlantic salmon. That's another reason why you probably want to use leeches because they won't touch them. Uh, but now the big brown trout will. But anyway, guys, we're going to hop into it. We're going to take a closer look at these bullhead. And I'll go ahead and tell you, they're not easy. Okay, they're not an easy fish. I'd love to be able to put that easy button out there for you. But the bullhead and the burbot were the final two remaining fish that I needed in the game for diamonds. We finally got that, so I finally have a bingo across all maps now. I've caught all the diamonds, but these were my last two. The bullhead and the burbot were my last two remaining diamonds that I needed. So I wish I could tell you there's an easy button out there, but there's not. When the reality is they're the type of fish that you have to have some patience for. Uh, other fish, you can just kind of force spawn a diamond in by catching a bunch of silvers over and over and over again until one just spawns in. But with these, you might go 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes without catching a bullhead. I mean, it's just requires a lot of patience. And then the thing about that is nighttime doesn't last long. So there, there's a reason why these diamonds are tough to get. Uh, it's tough to get a good chunk of time to actually fish them. Uh, just like the burbot, my preferred time is probably around 15, 1600 on to midnight. Seems like once you get past midnight, it's harder to catch them, even though they're ca uh, classified as a nighttime fish. Let's hop into the bullhead catfish a little bit. Uh, look at that. Look at all that blue. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm, loving it. Okay, bullhead catfish. Mine, you see, was a 5.94 pound. 
and we caught it on number five liver, which is a golden up hook. And I didn't catch it at this spot. Let's look at their traits though. Bottom lurker. Now I did catch mine uh, with a float. So some people have caught them. It just depends on how deep the water is, where you're at really. And uh, where I caught mine, the water wasn't very deep. So we were fine with the float. Plus I like being able to see what is coming over to bite. Keen senses, now that can sense food from a great distance and will respond well to lures. So that's pretty good. That's very helpful when you put that number five liver on there. If one swims pretty close to it, it can sense it, okay? If that's a gold or a diamond. And they are night, night owls. They're more active at night. But as you saw, I caught mine during the day, just late evening. All right, let's look at their baits that they prefer. You see the top three are red worm, leeches, and liver. You see here, if you go on and hit the tab button, it will show you the rest of the things they like. Minnow, cheese, dough, hot dog, marshmallow, blood worm, pearl barley, eggs, bread, artificial corn yellow, and corn. So that is what we see there. You can see where we're at again right here off this island. All right, guys, as you can see here, we have the hook chart for Trosporit. If you go right down here to the bullhead catfish and you go over, you see number eight and number seven are bronze. This is in the official angler discord, by the way, all color coded. And Wilson has done some awesome, awesome work here. And we've got... Uh, the silver hook is number six. There's the number five. Now, that's why I'm saying number five liver. Have patience. Throw it out there. Uh, funny story. I actually, people kept telling me, uh, mostly official Dolan and Torok, number five liver, number five liver, number five liver. And finally, you know, I kind of stubbed up and I kind of got, got a little got a little sensitive. And I said, okay, you know what? There was like 50 minutes of the stream left at that point. And I said, you know what? For the remainder of this stream, I am using a number five liver just to prove to both of you all that it does not work for me because I had tried and tried and tried, never could catch one on it. Which part of that is if you're lucky enough to have a diamond already spawned into the place that you're fishing, then you're going to catch them. But if they haven't, then you're sitting there. If you don't have a gold or a diamond in that area, you're sitting there not catching anything. So I was, I was determined to prove them wrong. But guess what? We caught the diamond on the number five liver. But anyway, don't be expecting a lot of bites because it is gold and diamond only. You're not going to catch any silvers on that. So for, on this video, and I'm still not catching any on this video, and we're using leeches. So maybe I ought to throw the five liver on there while I'm making this video. All right, guys, we have moved to another location on the map where I've caught a few bullheads, but... No diamonds here, but I have caught some golds here. I thought I saw one swimming over there. I guess I was wrong. But part of the problem is it's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right here is where I caught just a little bit from where we're at right now is where I caught my diamond bullhead. We'll probably make our way over toward that direction. All right, guys, we have moved to the location where I caught my diamond and some golds and we are right here as you can see here this is where we were at the beginning of the video when you witnessed me catching that diamond and that was on a five liver right there right here's where we were at earlier and we were right here as a matter of fact all of the places that you can catch a bullhead catfish are on this lake except for one spot over here I don't have it marked there, but right in through there, you can catch a bullhead diamond catfish. All right, guys, there are six locations that you can catch a diamond bullhead catfish. We are in between one and four right now. Uh, long right, we're technically we're at one because we're just up from that spot just a little bit. Technically we're at one. Uh, number five is the island where a lot of people catch theirs. Number two is that little villa. A lot of people can catch them there and then at the mouth of this little right here. So five spots right here. And then there has been one reported caught right here. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to throw your line out there. 
If you don't get a bite, cut the line. Go over to the left a little or over to the right a little, whichever. Cast again. Give it four or five minutes. Sit there and wait. If you don't get a bite, cut. Just cast back. It's really a lot of patient fishing. Um, what tore me up about it the most was a lot of times I don't get to fish except for when I'm streaming because I am, I have a full-time job and it's hard for me to make YouTube videos. A lot of times I get up two hours before work, get my editing and stuff in, my filming and all that, do my video making then. And then when I get home from work, I do a two hour stream and that's about all the playing I actually get to do. And so it's not exciting streams when you're just sitting there with the bobber in the in there waiting on a bite if you're getting slow bites, you know. Now, good company can make up for that. And we've got some awesome friends that we've made lately that make the streams fun. But I, if, if you've not built your channel up, you don't have a lot of interaction going on in your chat and stuff, it's really hard to fish for these slow biting fish like this um, it always makes me feel like I'm not providing enough entertainment for my for my viewers so it's it's tough on me to fish this style that's why I prefer jigging I prefer uh, using a lure at least when I'm reeling I feel like I'm doing something I don't know I just get I hate sitting there waiting with a floater on a slow biting fish. Now I don't mind float fishing when you're frequently getting bites, but now the bullhead and the burbot, you have to have a lot of patience for, and that's not a coincidence that those were the last two that I needed. But this is where I got mine, right here. So if you can throw a line in, and if you've got two monitors, or throw a line in, uh, you know, if you're on console, watch a video on your phone, you know, take a nap, <laughs> you know, something, something where, you know, uh, when you get a bite, you know, cause you know, it's a gold, at least a gold when you get a bite on this liver. And I have switched over to the liver. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks out there to catch a diamond bullhead catfish. I'm always welcoming new strategies and things. Uh, unfortunately, you can't jig for them uh, where I would be, but got to float fish for them, guys, or bottom feeder fish for them. So let me know in the comments, guys, what video would you like to see next? This is, uh, we now have bingo, and I'm taking requests, and... Good luck out there. Hope you get your bullhead catfish. My name is Darth Sloan. We'll catch you in the next video.